the month of June, I want to read more books in July. Me and July reads one less book. Hi guys, it's Olivia here from Olivia's Catastrophe and I'm here to give you my late July wrap up. In the month of July, I only read review copies and books that I need to review on my blog. So I read six books. I didn't do much reading. I wasn't really feeling it. But let me tell you about the books that I did read. One of the first books I read was Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston and this was the second time I was giving this book a chance. It's a retelling of Anastasia and it's about Anna who is a person who works on this ship and she is a criminal and she has a best friend who is a robot who she happens to be in love with who is kind of breaking down and she needs to find this very special chip in order to save him but things get complicated when it comes to royals and a lot of stuff happens and it ends up turning into a bigger conspiracy than she thought was possible. There was not a very good explanation for this book but the reason why I had to give this book a second chance was that the first time I read 25% and I was not convinced. I didn't like Anna as a character and I didn't like her love with the robot, it was a bit weird and it just wasn't working for me on so many levels even though I usually enjoy sci-fi and retellings. However, reading it this time I did enjoy it more and I have to say the secondary characters are what really brought it through for me. Jax and Rob basically were the reason I kept reading this book and Jax was such an interesting character because he's a Solani and they're very special and they have all these qualities to them, very complicated and basically if the book was centered around Jax and Rob instead of Anna and Dio9 I would have been much much happier. However I did enjoy reading it and managed to rate this one three stars in the end. I read two physical books. I was traveling a lot so I went from like Spain to Italy to London so I didn't have many physical books with me but I did finish these two and one of them is Ecstasy by Mary Sharrett. It's a historical fiction about Alma Schala. Alma fell in love with Gustav Schala and they got married and had a whole life together in real life but before that Alma had many love affairs and she was a very creative woman herself so it was interesting to learn a lot about her as a person and a historical figure through reading this one. I didn't know anything about Gustav Mahler or Alma, Schall, Alma Mahler before I read this book. I didn't know some of the figures that she had love affairs with and I just really enjoyed this historical fiction. I gave it four stars. It really talked about womanhood, motherhood, art, creativity, music and it was just so interesting to read this book and especially because when she married Gustav Mahler he wanted her to give up her composing to be with him which is just a very interesting point and I think very interesting feminist discussion can be brought up around this book. It kind of reminded me of Circe but then historical fiction wise instead of mythology so if you enjoyed that one you might also enjoy this one. I actually bought like six other books because she keeps mentioning all these writers in this book and I just have to read their books to see what I think of them myself. Then the next physical book and the last physical book I read was Hellworld by Tom Levine. This one is kind of a horror apocalyptic book and it's about this group of kids who go into this cave because they're looking for their parents who previously disappeared into this cave a couple years ago and what they find there are some zombies and also some monsters however they accidentally free those monsters and they end up going into the world and creating this hell world hence the title I did enjoy reading this one I think it really had some very interesting themes in there about religion kind of crossing into science fiction and just meshing back and forth between them and making them one which was just really interesting because lots of people think science and religion are total opposites but they really tried to take a logical approach to how the world is in this situation which I did like. It was told in the perspectives switching between chapters of before they went into cave and after they went into cave and I think that worked very well for this story. The characters were just alright, the romance felt entirely unnecessary and I did not like the open ending. I am a fan of closed endings and I was a bit unsatisfied with this ending as well as knowing there's no sequel which kind of made this a little bit of a disappointment. I did enjoy reading it but I have mixed feelings. Some things could have been better. Then I read 26 Kisses by Anna Michaels. This is a book about a girl who has had a breakup from this relationship she's been in for a long time. She's a teenager, it's a young adult contemporary and after she has a breakup her best friend comes up with this idea that she kisses 26 boys in the summer starting from a boy whose name starts with the letter A and ending with a boy whose name starts with the letter Z. She's supposed to kiss all the way through and I just should have known that I was not going to like this book before I picked it up because 
what am I it's just not my type of read I don't really enjoy contemporary that much anymore I mean I do find it okay but I find that I'm not overwhelmed by it a lot and then it was just like why is she doing this at some point she finds a guy she likes but she's like oh no I need to keep kissing through the alphabet and she's not even happy with what she's doing and I'm just like why are you still doing it in that case also I was not happy with some of these kisses because they're like surprise kisses and she doesn't you know hint at it or ask the person and I don't find that that's okay I wouldn't like if it happened to me and I don't like that she's doing this to these guys and it would just felt a whole lot young it was a really young read like young 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 adult and I'm just not about that life so this wasn't a book for me I also buddy read Blackfish City by Sam J Miller with Shannon from It Starts at Midnight I'll leave a link to her blog and Instagram below and this is a science fiction read that I couldn't say it's young adult but I couldn't say it's adult anymore, maybe somewhere in between and I did enjoy this one but I did have problems with it too. So it's a very long read and I get a bit nervous with long reads lately so I was a bit ooh going into this but I read it on the plane and I managed to finish it and enjoy it. I think the world building was done spectacularly well if you want to go and see a really well developed world with political problems, with poverty problems, with like really a lot of problems that you'll see in real world but it's science fiction and it's this entirely futuristic world then you should definitely read this book. The world building is just stunning. However it switches perspective between characters a lot and I didn't really like any of the characters. The characters felt very 2D and underdeveloped and the plot was very good but it focuses on a lot of things and at some points I found it hard to know how it was all going to tie together. It does all tie together and the plot at the end was I really appreciated it. I really enjoyed the themes that it brought up, I really enjoyed what it discussed and I really thought it was great to see so much LGBT plus rep including gay and lesbian characters and also non-binary characters. So it was really great to have all of that representation and brilliant world building but I'm about the characters and those were just very 2D. And the last book I read was the 39 Cruise Double Cross and I believe it was Titanic, I'll have a picture of the cover up here. But this one was by Jude Lawson and I started the 39 Clues original series when I was younger, when I was the age for middle grade and I read the first one to three or one to four books. Never finished the series because I grew out of it and I got distracted by other books like Twilight and young adult reads. But then I decided maybe I don't dislike the middle grade genre, I'm going to give it a go. So I had this review copy and I read that one. It was great and nostalgic to go back to the characters. However, I felt like some of the characters had really changed and they weren't changes that I liked. And that makes sense because there's been a second series since the one that I originally read and this is the third series. But I didn't really like the changing characters. The plot was just mediocre and it was a bit nothing really was happening for a lot of it and it didn't really contribute to the big plot. I can see how it's a setup for the rest of the series but I don't think middle grade is my genre anymore. A lot of the jokes felt young but then at the same time there was some death in there so it seemed not too young. I just couldn't really put my finger on what wasn't working for me with this book but it just wasn't one for me. Well those are the six books that I read in July where it like halfway through August by the time that I post this and I've been reading so much more in August so I can't wait for my August wrap up. Please let me know in the comment section down below what books you've recently read lately and what your thoughts on them were and if you've read any of these let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.